Live from Studio 66 in beautiful Culver City, California, the DDFP presents High Off Six with your host, the committee of one himself, Mr. Dave Damashev. Hi and hello and welcome to Pie Off 6, the most delicious day in Studio 66, nay, on the entire sports calendar every year. Oh, I've got a, uh, I've got an open mouth, I've got baggy pants, and a full heart as the, as the Pie Off 6 is soon to commence. I am joined right now by three-time Pie Off champion, the face of Hans Zeus Corp. Here he is. Dynasty, Dan Hanzus. How are you, sir? Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, and so great to be in the booth with you for the first time. Uh, I'm just like Tony Romo uh, with much worse metabolism, but many more titles. That's right. Yes, yes. But Romo never claimed even one, uh, let alone three, as you did. Muzzle tub to that. As a matter of fact, we will be talking to a, uh, a legend of pie off in just a, a matter of moments here. And uh, let's start there, Hanzoos. This is a this is a major controversy. Each and every pie off, or in the run up to it, I should say, is that uh, some people balk at the idea that you were the figurehead of Hanzoos mm. Corp. Rather than in forging your own pie with your own mitts, you dispatched that responsibility to your wife and to your mother-in-law and saw great success pursuing that avenue. It's hard for me because I'm a Jets fan, as you know, Dave, but the parallels to the Patriots are very clear here that I'm a winner. Hansis Corp is a winner. And, and the reason we win is it's not that we cheat. It's that we look at the rules and we find the best way to bring the greatest product without going over the line. Mm. It's not even loopholes. It's like, what are the rules? Let's do things other teams aren't doing. And that's why we got three out of four. You know, I deal with a fair amount of controversy in my direction, too. People say, how dare you not enjoy fruit pies? How dare you say, I wouldn't. Br-. I tell people who solicit my advice going into pie off, of course, I am the blue ribbon panel of one. And people come to me and say, what's your favorite kind of pie? And I say, I just would steer clear of fruit pies. Mm-hmm. And people say, well, that's outrageous. You, you, you've ruined a pie off. I mean, I, I, I I'm telling you in advance what the rules of pie off are. You're the one who's being vain. You're the one who's being a narcissist to tell me, well, I the 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 blue ribbon panel has advised me on what the is enjoyable and yet you're still going to bring the fruit pie? Who's really the one who's uh who's doing it wrong here, Hansus? Yeah, my wonderful mother-in-law and uh had a a pie the second year we were in the competition that had a hint of lemon, I believe, mm-hmm. and it was a mistake, and it was yep. the only year we didn't win, and what did we do? All we did was go back to the lab, never put fruit in a pie again, and kept winning. Yes, I like you said. I mean, I think you basically said it all. Yes, it all comes back to what are the rules? Let's play within those rules. What's allowable? What is uh, discouraged? And go from there, and uh, yeah, you know, like you say, Mama Mama Bates Hanzoos and uh, and uh, Mrs. Hanzoos and uh, and the entire Hanzoos Corp. Really, you know, the NBA had the uh, had Russell Celtics. You know, the the Major League Baseball had uh, several editions of the Yankees. Connect Four had Damashek in the mid '90s, and you know, Pie Off <laughs> has uh, has Hanzoos Corp. And I, I I do nothing but tip my hat to them. And uh, in just a minute, we will be talking with a, a few other iconic um, competitors from Pie Off's past. As a matter of fact, I understand they're here with us now. Um, oh, yeah, they, yeah, here they are. Hey, it's, uh, <laughs> what's up? Oh. It's, uh, it's a guy who sits in this very studio each and every day doing the NFL Twitter show. And perhaps more importantly, he is our... Our what? Our Dan Marino? Is that a fair comp for this guy? He's he's he, he's done some Tough delicious deeds. Yes. <laughs> he's made some delicious deeds. I don't know that he's ever thrown a bomb, though, unlike uh, Dan Marino. Either way, here he is, everybody. It's Mark Iztook. How Thank are you? you. I, I couldn't be more happy to be here. You know, I, I could list off the number of times I've been runner-up, but runner-up doesn't count. So why bother counting it? Yeah, as I always say, if you're not first, you're last. I came yeah, up with that I think, a few uh, years ago. I think Mr. Uh, uh, Talladega Knight says that as well. All right, listen, <laughs> that's it. You fell into my trap. Now today in Pie Off, you know, what, you know what the Blue Ribbon panel really enjoys? 
flattery. Now, people say that's that's inappropriate. I say go back and Stick check the, the rule rules. Book. Is anybody saying uh, what what is the blue ribbon panel? What does the official say about it? The official says he likes being flattered. Why would you not try to flatter? See, that's strike one. <laughs> Late breaking news as well here is uh, I also saw uh, Cindy Freeland um, in the parking lot on my way in. As I drove past her, she was carrying a delicious looking pie. I stopped my car. I rolled down my window and I said, hey, how about a little, uh, you know, sneak taste view? And she said, no. Well, I mean, you know, that, that's that's your wow. choice. That's a choice you've Ooh. made. And it did register, just so you know. Now, there's some more late-breaking news. Some, uh, some. Po- uh, I don't know if this is uh, goes so far as to be a scandal right now. I don't know that we need a special investigator. But uh, former champion herself, Tara Deeker, is here. What happened today, Tara Deeker? Well, first of all, happy hello, pie everybody. On. Welcome. Well, I'm Hi, so Tara. happy. T- Tara. Um, <laughs> Good one. Um, I'm so happy to be asked back as a former champion. Um, I'm excited as I always, I mean, this is my year. Mm -hmm. I talk about it all year round. You know this. So this. You had a dry run, you called it, uh, over the weekend. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, we could talk about that first. Um, I did some dry runs this weekend because this is how serious I take it. Um, I made three pies. Mm -hmm. Little tinkering as one would want to come out of a dry run. Some people made fun of me for the dry run. I say perfection doesn't, you know, I, I, I understand. Gotta break some eggs. Gotta break some eggs. Gotta break some eggs. Nice yeah. And, and I don't think there's anything wrong. I was always shamed for doing the dry run. Like how dare I practice, you know, you know, some are, are the people athletes. who said that, are they outside this studio? <laughs> Cause I don't think they're inside. This no, studio. no, 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 I'm no, just no. saying, I felt, why like, they're not I felt like inside. I got a little, heat for the dry run one action. of the things of being a, a successful champion mm-hmm. uh is the criticism and i got my share fair criticism for not baking a pie personally okay but you got to put up a force field you can't let that stuff get to you i understand and, and I, I took it and if you if you don't mind check if i could just throw out something just as we get going here my only concern about deeker this year and she's a talented competitor no doubt and the go. pie in front of her here looks go. amazing but there's an old there's an old saying uh, with the New York Yankees during their uh, Joe Torre run, mm. and it became known as the Steinbrenner Doctrine. And what that meant was anything short of a championship was considered failure. It was an almost impossible. I don't uh, disagree. An Why would I disagree with thing that? Thing to live up to, and I feel that on Deeker, and you could feel the weight on her shoulders, her slaving in the kitchen for like an entire day, multiple pies. Is it getting to her? Is she going to be nope. able to come through today? Yeah. Did she crumble like so much uh, crumble surrounding an apple It only pie? made I me don't... stronger because I came out of the one egg that slipped out of my hand and I documented it for, you know, the world to see. I could have pretended like it went smoothly. <laughs> I could have just pretended that everything was perfect, but I'm fallible and I wanted people to see that sometimes even geniuses – have to. I, you do take on you. you it, it does appear from the outside looking in that uh, pie off champions are imbued with some godlike sort no, of qualities. But you're a human being, human as it turns out, human. you know. And uh, and I admire your effort. Of course, we do have to uh, honor the uh, the inaugural champion, handsome Hank Hodgson, off in Mexico City. Yes. Um. So unable to participate. Of course. Don't use water if you're you making bring a back pie. a dulce de leche pie. He made for a, us. That would be great. He made a treacle. <laughs> tart that uh, that stole the show and you know I think ago. I would also say from year one to year two I think Hanzoos Corp really laid out he really blazed a trail for all people to try and follow if they want because in the inaugural pie off we had six pies in, in in attendance that day here in Studio 66 and uh, Hanzoos showed up empty handed mm-hmm. earning the name mm-hmm. empty Hanzoos by uh, the aforementioned handsome Hank did he did he uh, tuck his tail between his legs and scurry off afraid to compete no he said you know what back to the drawing board <laughs> i've got to come back a bigger better me kind of like i guess I don't know, Danielson, like on the beach. <laughs> he was Danielson on the beach, you know, going up against Cobra Kai. And then next, what? who's this guy, you know, at the All-Valley Tournament? That's the same guy, but believe wait, it or not. I do feel like there's a little bit of recency bias because as amazing as the Hanju's Corp accomplishment is, if you go back to Thank Handsome you, Hank, the fact that he is from Britain, a land not known 
for its pies. Mm. Or food in general. Right. Oh, it says wow. something that he was able to notch Ooh, a victory. A so I think, you know, as much as we want to laud your your accomplishments, let us not forget Handsome Hank. I yeah, let, listen. And what you, he pulled yeah, off. Are you dropping to... a never forget? Well, yes. You know, yes. You know like in, in the spirit, <laughs> I wasn't going to do this now, but since we got to Handsome, he wanted to really be here, obviously, and since this oh, is the uh, <laughs> second year that Mexico has um, derailed his uh, – and so we've decided – in the vein of Hansa. What? Oh. Curveball. Curve Here we ball. go. You never know what's going to happen at a pie off. This is now going to be Handsome Corp. Ooh, I like that. That's why pie Oh, off you're is. baking the pie on behalf of Henry? It's Handsome Corp. Now, we better dig in on the rule book on that Wait one, a Jack. second. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a moment. Oh, I'm sorry. Did your hands touch Ann Bates' pies that she has baked for you? But it's not, I can't enter a competition myself. And then bake someone else's pie, and also enter them in the competition. Hey, you can't enter twice. Are there rules? I don't think there she are. She did the same thing. Controversy years ago. shadow I, falls I upon not. Studio hey, 66 again. I did not do this to do to create a new controversy. Wow. I did this because your champion, handsome Hank, who loves this competition and is just you know bad luck on him getting a great promotion, and now has to be in Mexico for the past two years. He wanted to be here. Mm. So I wanted to make that happen, and so I framed a picture that he has signed He signed years ago. The picture me. is neither here nor there. It's and, a distraction. Um, and, you know, so that's what's happening right now. I don't All think right, listen, I, it sounds to me like Hanzoos is throwing the red challenge napkin. I don't know that he's eligible to do so. He's though. not. Uh, as a I'm retired. a collar guy now. I right. went up to the booth. I'm retired. All I can tell you is, as someone that's been involved with every pie off, mm -hmm. It might have been last year or the year before, but Deeker tried to enter two pies into the competition last right. year, You're right? Or, or that year, and now she's doing it again. No, no. And there's a <laughs> there's a whiff, Deeker, and I'm not here to throw barbs. There's a whiff of desperation again. There is off. no desperation. Hank wanted to be here. Period. He Hanzus, be here. Hanzus is sort of if we're gonna compare these things to pro football legends. If Hanzoos is the 21st century Patriots with Belichick going right up to the line to see where the rules are and playing within those rules, you are the Al Davis. You are the Oakland Raiders mm -hmm. of the 70s, Deeker. You cross the line. It's as though you're, you, you, you've you doused yourself in so much stickum, or in this case, pie. <laughs> Okay. But either way, right. is sticky too. So the right, it makes strong. perfect sense. Yeah, in fact, that would be not a bad thing for a football team. You're not allowed to have stick them anymore. Hey, Careful I don't sauce. see anything in the rule books, NFL referee, that prevents me from using a particularly sticky pecan pie on my hand. I like. Listen, this. Thanksgiving That's a good is idea. about people for coming together, friends right. and family coming together. Right. This is my friend Hank. I'm bringing him together. I don't right. know. I, Let's, oh, you know what? shame on me, everybody. Before we take shame another, on me. Before we move one step <laughs> forward here, we've got to take a poll of the room. The blue ribbon panel of one is not going to render a verdict on this one. Let's let's uh, go around the room here. Is Took, as a competitor, sure. someone who – And think about Hank, too. Not just me. No, 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 let, you've mm. made your case, I think. Is, uh, is, uh, mm. is the defense now uh, resting? Def or? Yeah, d the defense rests. All right. Defensive. So help me clarify the rules here. <laughs> a, are you allowed to enter a pie if you are in absentia? Well, I mean, there isn't anything in the rule book I mean, that I properly guess, states you can't. I, I, I frown on it. It Mrs. seems like Hans it goes was, against the spirit. But then again, I admire the gumption to work around the rules and to still make can, it can an entry. You, it seems as though that, it, that what he's saying is, I can't be here. <laughs> But my pastry con, you know? Can you enter two and pies? I like that. I like where that's coming from. Is that allowed, entering two pies? I think that's what we really need to figure because out a, here Because a couple of years ago, I brought two pies, and that was the year I made a double mistake of a uh, making the apple pie. Right. Which that was that, I learned. That sidetracked me. And, and you know what? Deeker, so, so what you're claiming here is I want to I clarify. Yeah. You're saying – Yes. That this pie on your right. This is my pie. This is the Deeker my entry. First and Deke entry. Okay. Now what is the what is the pie? Who is who are the representatives of this pie? This is Handsome Hank's entry. Okay. 
And we decided we discussed Hank and I discussed that if he won, I this, see, then it would be the handsome corp win for both. Yeah, I mean, that's for original. Both of us. Um, I'm going to allow it. I'm not you know what? That's not- it. I've decided I'm allowing it. Hand Zeus, go ahead. You can dissuade me. No, I won't. I don't want to dissuade you. It had been decided in the past years that you can only enter one pie. I think Deeker, what she's done is found a loophole. Trickery, here. right. And and she wants the W because even if your pie doesn't win, if Henry wins, do you feel like you won? We all, all win. What happened this morning? I understand you're making uh, uh, a pretty serious charge. I'm not making any charges. It, it was only brought to me <laughs> as that because I don't live my life thinking bad things, people do bad things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, this morning I come out to my car. I got up at 6 Mm a.m., showered, did my hair for this event. All right, TMI. And I I got out to my car (laughs) with my pies and uh, flat tire. Hmm. Flat tire. Ooh. Knife mark, is that what you're suggesting? So – you know, I, I had to gather all my stuff back up and go back upstairs and call Uber. And the first Uber bailed on me, so I had to get another Uber. So I a tuber. Yeah, I had to have a tuber. It's always so, so much so much drama around you. I, I get in, I get here, and I collect myself. I'm telling some people, and Kent happened to be uh, walking by one of our coworkers who sits over by Dave, and he mentioned perhaps this was pie sabotage. Hmm. Now again. That never crossed my mind. I just thought, oh, some bad luck on my part. Not going to ruin my day. I'm going to look at this as, you know. And yet you bring it up. Is this an act of espionage? Well, only it's funny that uh, it. Ah, espionage. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, but Ken brought it up <laughs> to me. It. And then the people around us, it built, it got some legs to it. So they think that perhaps there's some sabotage and a certain name. Was uh, mentioned. Oh, which Loaded. name was that? I'd love so to hear what name was. Somebody, uh, somebody said, you know, Wolf, we should Google Wolf. map and we should, you know, did you have any cameras? I said no, and they said, well, where do you live? And I said, well, I live in the West Hollywood area. We want to be careful. Um, we don't want to. We don't want to level charges I, that listen, are unfounded. This, we don't know. These about are not the my words. I okay. did not know any of this. Uh, again, I just live a, a, a my life, and you know. So they said, oh, you live in the West Hollywood area? And I said, yeah. And they're like, who lives in the West Hollywood area? And I said, I don't know. I, everyone seems to live in the West Side. And he said, you know who lives on the, in the West Hollywood area? Eddie Spaghetti. Whoa, bum, bum, bum. Spaghetti. Whoa. Suddenly, yep. I, I, look at this, the target yep. of Deeker's. Really, no, I mean, outrageous not, charge. Not my charge. I listen. Here's his the name, thing, Deeker. His when you, name was you, brought up in the investigation. Talk about throwing darts. You're That's play, all you, I'm you saying. You just put this out into a public space, and then you and then you say, "Yeah, but it's uh, but I'm not saying it." <laughs> That's a man's reputation. <laughs> I said, you know, I don't think anybody. You understand? He could be stained. I said. By this. I said. I don't okay, think this anybody somebody, would ever do such a thing. This guy. This is a young man but trying he, just now getting going. You know, what just getting going with his career and his like life. Jalen Ramsey, what he said about AJ Green, saying that he's weak, he's soft. That sticks with a man. I'm just saying, Kent brought your name up in the investigation. Kent, as someone that lives Kent in the Brown. West Hollywood area, and I said again. What I know from Spaghetti, he seems like a stand-up guy. I don't think he would ever come to my I, home. I mean, I, what, I, what, I what I don't, what I really, what I, what really I mean, makes me the uh, the most uneasy about this is the way you keep saying. Now again, I think Spaghetti's a great guy, but it's Kent Brown who's doing it. Come on, Deacon. listen. I I did not know where Spaghetti lives. You're the one what, leveling he, these he, charges. Wait, let, let, let's step back for a second. Wouldn't the guilty party benefit from shedding light on someone else? He who smelt it dealt it. Yes. <laughs> See? Well, I don't. wait. But I'll tell you what. Romo can diagnose those plays watching the football. Hansus, you know, really. He's, <laughs> I'll tell you what. This guy's future is bright in well, the high booth. Again, I want to bring it back to positive. I don't think anybody. Is yeah, after, yeah, after, yeah, after, after yeah, yeah. that's out of the bag. You pepper after you pepper <laughs> pour spaghetti with your rotten eggs. I think, no, I, I, but I, I, but me, I'm my pie, pies out of the oven. You know, I think you Eddie's spaghetti. <laughs> Eddie's spaghetti is one of the quietest, most loveliest people. When I walk by, he doesn't give me any grief. I just want to make that clear. And uh, so again, I I want to attach an addendum to my uh, ruthless verbal I'm going on record to say that I don't think Eddie spaghetti nor any other competitor. Is a saboteur and came to my so house. So do we need to cut that out of the out of the show then? Out of the pie I, off that you, this even happened? You know it, the, 
I'm just you, know, you asked me what happened, you brought it up and I told you what happened. You know what this reminds me of, Dave? It's funny how you pulled up photographs and everything though. Well, I mean evidence. I, a. The scene in Goodfellas where Ray Liotta's driving around and he and I've he's looking at it. the helicopters and he, he thinks everyone's watching him. A little bit unhinged. <laughs> <right now. laughs> I've never seen Goodfellas, so I don't even know the reference. Yeah, so. Strike one. Jokes on you. Strike one. I can I <laughs> What do we have here? So I did reach out. Pardon me. I did. I did this is going to go south for me. I can. Already I reached out to Handsome Hank. He is busy right now, but he would have loved to be here. He's so proud to have Deeker as a sponsor. Together we make pies. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. He's got a catchy little phrase uh, to support. Hey, Listen, uh, Dave, this is course. your enterprise. That's what's called a best friend. You is made your ruling, I mean, Dave. That's what's... But it doesn't mean that it's not going to be extremely controversial. I'm conflicted. I mean, I'm, uh, there is legitimately one half of me, fully one half of me, that would like to pick up that pie and, and uh, put it right into Deeker's face. You know? <laughs> I, I would be lying if I, if I, if I said otherwise. <laughs> All right. While we have spaghetti there behind the glass, I I, uh, I see him, and uh, I think it would be nice. We recently discovered, uh, if you have not been, uh, if you if you haven't heard uh, some recent episodes of uh, the DDFP proper, we uh, we discovered that spaghetti has a little talent of his own. I mean, oh. behind the glass, there are a lot of talented That's souls. Exciting. Emma VP, you know, she likes to make her little TV guide write ups every week. Everybody's got something. Spaghetti, as it turns out, is great at making up songs. Off the cuff that he's never thought about Aww, until that moment. Sweet. So, with that being said, I'm putting him on the spot I, here. I, Spaghetti, sing a song about pie for us, won't you? Uh, all right. Uh, what's the song on on the way down? Uh, Not that one anymore. Uh, it's enough with the same pie. tune. Got new tune. I didn't poke Deeker's tires. <laughs> I was too busy <laughs> making making pies this morning. Uh, I made two pies. One has marshmallows in it. You wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Two a second. pies. Go back. You made two pies. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not here to play games. I'm here to win. So. All right. Well, we'll see how that works out for you. Um, all right. Listen. Does I, he have to submit one, or are they both in the competition? We got to get these rules. Well, set. The, it's a- which is your. I, we we did after battling that issue. You know, it's it's one of those things that you know until you know, we we modify. We try the pie off is one of the great tournaments in uh, in sport, but that doesn't mean there's not room for it to still get better. You know, yeah, you know, the Major League Baseball. Whether or not you agree with the wisdom, they added that wild card, sure. and some people seem to enjoy it. The two pie thing reared its ugly head really and fully in pie off five after is took attempted the same thing in four. Deeker didn't learn from that in five it was very confusing i think we do have to officially say you have one official entry and then the other one's just for pleasure oh, the, that's, flip-flopping. the other one's just, for pleasure that's fine that's i'm fine. allowing your two pies deekers but don't get sassy or i'll turn around on it <laughs> what happens if they're the same pie but a variation of the same pie choose which one is your official entry that that uh, that's what record. we did with deeker last year yeah we we, we relegated made, one to recreate he made me choose like right i was like sophie's choice like in the moment, live, I had to choose. And spaghetti, which just one. So, just so you know, and this is where it gets a little stressful. Deeker chose the wrong pie last I did. year, as I recall. So it, it, don't make that same mistake. Dan, this is true. When Dan tasted the one that I put aside, I mean, I didn't know what to do. He tasted it, and he's like, "Oh, Deeker, you would have won with that pie." And Emma VP. Well, like, and, so, and, so and I'm that, in, I'm in the same boat this year. I have two versions of this pie, one ingredient switched, and I have ooh. chosen to go with the more ambitious. Pie. Let's see if we can kill two by uh, two pies with one uh, with one fork here. Right now, before we head outside for the for the uh, true beginning of the pie off, you know, we, we we have a number of colleagues and competitors ready to go outside stage one at uh, at NFL Media here in Culver City, California. But before we do, I you know I uh, I just said I don't live life in the rearview mirror. However, I love my sports history. I love dynasties. I think dynasties are what makes sports uh, truly compelling. And I think we do need to uh, take a tip uh, to take a moment to tip our cap to the dynasty. We already mentioned the Hanzus Corp, who really is the figurehead, the face of Hanzus Corp. But the but the real genius behind it is uh, I guess you could really say. Do you would you say you're the Bill Walsh? At, to uh, Mama Bates Hanzus's Joe Montana. Is that fair? I think that's definitely fair. Belichick Brady, you could also go down that road if you want. Interesting, yeah. yeah. Um, or, yeah, yeah, or I'm even thinking a little Gretzky uh, Messier kind of uh, hmm. kind of action there. Either way, can we. Skate uh, where the pie will be. 
We'd like to we'd like to speak with the legend here if we could. Wait, what's happening right now? I look at you. I mean, a, a, a terrifying Tara Deeker with a knife poised to strike. I'm telling. Is you. that tire rubber on that knife? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I Looks slash like my own tire? tire? That's ridiculous. You know what? While we Why see if you? we can if we can wrangle uh, Mama Bates. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Here. I felt. She's uh, here. I felt an energy that I haven't felt for some time. Not a, a sort of like Vader standing on the Death Star when he realized that uh, Luke was draw- or on uh, the Andor moon. I knew something. Uh, so, uh, the, the Force was strong. Oh, How are you, Mama Hanzus? Mama Bates Hanzus. I, I'm doing well, thank you. <laughs> Hello, Ann. Listen, listen to the ease. Not unlike the <laughs> boss Greg Rosendahl when he talks Hello. about his Patriots. She's she's got not a worry in the world. Hello, Deeker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys sprung this surprise on me. I'm happy to hear your voice, Anne. I, I was, well, I was even, I was so sad to hear you weren't going to be able to join us this year. No, you aren't. Be honest. I don't like jive. We don't jive in sti- in sixty six. I was. Hey, you don't. I, you're not. Welcome, ha- you're not sad. She I isn't welcome here to all compete. competition. Why do you say that with the as you swing a gigantic <laughs> knife? <laughs> Because it's here. There she is. Hey, Ann. Oh, oh there Ann. she is. Oh. The champion of champions joined the, the, the pantheon, like Bill Russell <laughs> or, uh, or Mickey Mantle <laughs> or, uh, or, or I don't know who. There she is. Oh, the what face a of a winner, the face of a dynasty, Mama Bates Hanzoos. Mama Bates Hanzoos, while we have you. And we see, uh, I mean, listen, can you you imagine? It must be great, you know, although there's a lot of pressure on that. uh, You know, if you're the next in line in a a family lineage to, you know, it's. I guess it would be like being Joe Montana's uh, son. Like, people then expect you to be as good as dad. Like, I see the little ones, the grandchildren's looming over your right shoulder there. Yes. Are you, I mean, they're, they, they're born into this dynasty. Do you feel that they have a little bit of pressure on them, though, to, to live up to, to the dynasty's name? I will start them off young. I will work with them. I will inspire them. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, she, you, you, you see, you see, I, this is why I, I like great that. This is born. But ultimately, you're not going to force them into a life of uh, pie making. You want <laughs> you want them to you want them to choose uh, their path. That's a question I can't answer yet. Um, <laughs> Fair. Yeah, that's that's tough. You are know? you are, uh, you hate to see a dynasty come to the come well, to a I, I mean, you know what? end? Well, why did why I mean, did listen, it? Yeah, what what happened? What was your the uh, your son-in-law here has moved up to the booth. So far, he's uh, he's proving to be a strong addition here. But are you a little conflicted here? This is your first pie off from which you're on the sidelines. And I've talked to a lot of football players who say, "Yeah, I don't miss training camp. I didn't care about August, but you know what? That first Sunday of the regular season, uh, I, I I'd be lying if I if I if I didn't feel a little uh, little conflicted. Is that is that where you come down? today speak candidly Ann. I will uh, as I can only speak <laughs> um, Dave yes yes the the conflict I'm feeling actually is having to hold this there it is grade, here we go homemade trophy <laughs> yeah see let's see the back um, of it Deeker's handiwork yeah, with, put it in front the, of you well, look at that yeah the masking tape the duck Another outrageous yeah. scandal that uh, befell, look at that uh, look at that disgrace, and now you get a new trophy, and it looks beautiful. We had this one, and this was the first one. I did and not Deaker broke break it. the Piesman trophy. Yeah, to show the tape. What, what, how how did it break then, Deeker? I don't know. I wasn't standing there. Shame. Ask Ryan Bartlett. He was Shame. standing there. Shame. Okay, okay. we're not Shame. doing this again. We're Shame. not doing this again. Shame. Shame. No, we're doing it right now, sister. <laughs> I don't know. Look, date. Hey, yes, yes. one more one more indication of this trophy. This is you not have three of them, you know. High plate. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a this is plate. a cake pin. <laughs> this that's got Bartlett written all over it. This <laughs> is a high plate and a lovely this one. I might what, add. Yeah, that's 
That's when, legit. Winning pies are baked in. You know what? How about a retroactive trophy? We won three of these damn no. things. Fingers. No, there's no. no listen, fingers crossed. Uh, make Mama it right, Bates. Dave. Uh, you know what? The only way to make it right is, uh, you know, one year from now for you to or two years or whatever. You know what, Mama Bates hands us. The only way to make this thing right is for you to get back into the pie off. My ring's outside. <laughs> hmm. Think it over. I'm not putting you uh, putting you on the spot uh, today. Are, do you have any advice? I mean, it's it's too late to really do much of anything to to one's pie. But do you have any thoughts, uh, advice, do's, don'ts, and so on? Stay away from fruit. Thank you. Um, stay That's someone away who gets from it. Any lemon zests. That yep, that, that got us undoing, in 24, right. 2015. Yep. Yes, took. Um, and I have to say, is that is is the the guy sitting next to you, Dave? Is that the one you called necktie or? <laughs> no, no, no. That's another loser. That's another <laughs> friend of loser named Mark. Is necktie quit in shame? Yeah, He's no longer in the competition. Okay. <clears throat> okay, who? But he made a good pie last year. I yeah, think well, that's his thing. That's why, that's why we say he's it's like the, Dan Mark Marino. He make, he's like the Atlanta Braves <laughs> minus one uh, World Series yeah. championship. He and makes. I'll, he's always competitive. He just never gets over the hump. It's, it's the Texas roots. Yeah. yeah, a fellow Texan, as you know him. Yes, well, I, I think he's got kind of a, a thing going with his crust, and that's that is the basis. I guess it's like football. To me, to me. Football is all about the defense. So much is made about quarterbacks, <clears throat> you know, fullbacks, running back, one-handed catches and all that sort of stuff, flash and dash. Yeah, I'm into your basic mm -hmm. defense. And to me, the pie crust is the basic defense. A Foundation. fundamental, the fundamental. You when can't win. Defense. You don't start at the sixth floor. You start at the foundation. That's how you do it. Line of scrimmage in football, crust in pie off. Yes. Yes. You get that's, it. That's I, I don't need to it. tell you you get it. You've won. Uh, you got three titles. Ugly trophies they're, in hindsight, but you got them oh. nevertheless. And a legend. They're waiving the five-year waiting period, by the way, straight to the Hall of Fame. Oh. <laughs> no wait well, well we do. I was I was disappointed when I heard that Ann wasn't gonna be joining us. Was I not? Why do you lie? Why why, so why why lie? I was You know what? With with the three time champion uh lording over my shoulder, it is time to get ahead. Let it begin Hand me a pie, I will take my first taste and befitting of you know what? His uh you cut one or are you it, just gonna go right in? Well, you're always uh, runner-up here. I think you deserve at least once to be in first. Here we go. No, I don't cut it. Oh, that, as is my right yeah. as the uh, there you go. Blue Now, now as the straight. color Make guy. Make sure you get some, some crust, yeah. though. Let me just say, is there crust there? There is crust. Okay. I didn't get crust oh, on my crust. fork, though. Get the crust. I try to That's keep That's the foundation. It. What did we just talk about? I'm gonna... For the last six years, I've tried to get it to just one bite. It's unfair to go back for more. But as we boil it down to the semifinalists, here we go. I want that Oreo crust. And I got you, it. I got it. Ready? Say, here we go. Did you see uh, Hyde, uh, Handsome Hank? Oh. <laughs> he couldn't be with us today, so uh, I, brought him, I brought him to us. I brought oh, him all the way okay. from Mexico. We are off and rolling here. Uh-oh. Oh, my. So what you're It's coconutty. It's custardy. And it's got chocolate. What is it? In it? What you're tasting is a custom recipe, by the way. Just so you know, this recipe does not exist until I made it. Whoa! Oreo Ooh. white chocolate coconut cream pie with coconut bourbon caramel topping. Holy hell! <laughs> That's All right, Deeger. Let's go. Wow. Let's keep them coming Let's now. Slide that over here. Now we're into it. All right. You now gotta, we're doing it. You got to make sure to get a good full bite of the crunchy. I'll part. do. I'll, I know how to eat pie. Thank you. Deeker telling me how I have to eat pie. Oh, Deeker, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, it does. Deeker, what is this before I bite? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what a I'm second. a baby. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. what is happening right now? Oh. Oh, Deeker. <clears throat> what in the hell have you concocted? Where, where in the heavens did you ascend to find this divine? I made Hi, it up. What is it? I, I took a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and I'm going to call it Sweet Heath Pie. 
because it's got a little Ooh. heath in it. Heath yeah. bar. So wait, heath it's stiffer like, oh. than. Yeah, heath it's is not on your team too. No, it's got heath bars in it. Oh, heath However, bars. Yes, Heath Evans did buy me lunch yesterday, okay. so that was a very nice thing for him to do. But um, humble brag. You know, it just it, that that it's has nothing to do with it. Deeker. This okay. is this is better than the award-winning pie of two years. How about that? Yeah. No, I. This duck's pie is outrageously delicious. It's. it's I didn't get so to many try flavors. This What's this I'm one gonna, now, Deeker? This is this is a a variation of bourbon pecan chocolate pie, but I put a little uh, a little extra oh, to thicken it up a little. That's bit. That's a former award-winning. Um, and I put in a type of pie. I put in unbleached flour. Uh, and just so you know, oh, yeah. I like my flour bleach. Just so you know, I've, and I've used <laughs> cornstarch before. You know, I her. tried cornstarch in my dry run, Ann, and it made uh-huh. it too soupy. Oh, yeah, the hmm. cornstarch made it too. So originally, that pie right there had a little cornstarch in it, but it was a little too soupy. Yeah. And just so you know, uh, Deeker started a shell corporation mm-hmm. to enter another pie in this con- competition. Just so you know, Handsome Corp. She uh-huh. made a pie that I'm now chewing up and just swallowed by Handsome Hank. So she kind of, sort of, has two pies that she made in the competition. What do you think of that? She did. She did that last year. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but she. But but you know what? Jokes on her if she thinks she gets to bask in the glory if Handsome Corp Pie wins, because you know. She uh, she works under the banner of Handsome Corp, so she doesn't get any of that. You know that crunchy part. You know? that crunchy yeah. part will save lives. Unlike unlike Hanzu's Corp, I suspect that Handsome Corp uh, has clear division between the uh, between the executive level and the working class. Um, very yeah. nice, Deeker. That was like very this good too? too. Yeah. What's in that one? That one's almost like a Toll House bar, but with a little bit of kick to it. Yeah, that's what I said. I, I mix them up a little bit. It's like it, it's kind of like a cake, more cakey or pecan pie, basically. Ooh. So, three, I, so can I tell you something? The, the three delicious pies. On that pie. Let me try this one. Which one? I haven't even tasted this, by the way. I just made this. Yeah, can I see that? Same, I, same with me. I, this is the first taste well, just now. The one that I oh, made in my dry run, pie. it just didn't taste great. So I, I made I. Changed it up a little bit, and then um, I didn't try it. For so you don't know that you haven't. Tried I really, the yeah, I don't know the. You know what? We're rolling. I don't want to stop this roll now. Let's keep it while the momentum is going. Let's head outside for the rest of the piles. All right, outside 66 now to the field of play, Han Zeus, and look at the turnout for pie off six. A gaggle of our colleagues, duped once again by my diabolical but delicious plan to eat as much pie as we possibly can. It's amazing, Dave. I remember being on the other side of the table. Brings back those same memories, a lot of goosebumps. It's just such a great sight. And you did it all yourself, Dave. Well, I, you know, I, I want to say to everybody here gathered, yes, we have our competitors. Yes, Deeker takes it way, 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 way too far with uh, with the trash talk I'm and other... Well, See, that's what I'm talking about right there. A little but, unhinged. You know, that's fine. We, we, you know, Dylan Milner, this time the, the kitchen was too hot for him to even compete in. But I want everyone gathered here to know you're already all winners. Why? Because your pie, as always, is your ticket of admission. And now, <laughs> let the pie eating commence! I will taste each pie, as will Dan Hanzoos now. And we'll see, and we'll start it off with here. Your name, please. Lindsay Meggers. All right. This one's mine, though. I'm oh, not sure who that is. No, we will try a pecan, a pumpkin pecan. These are flavors I like. I don't know if uh, they reached you through the grapevine or otherwise, but these are uh, some flavors I enjoy. I'm going to take a nice bite. Spicy. Seasonally appropriate. Appropriate. Like Tony Romo, sometimes I know what's going to happen before it's even said. <laughs> you did. You, you, you almost beat me to the punch with that one, Dan. I'll say you. That's delicious. It makes me think of Thanksgiving. It's perfectly fitting. Any comments you want to you want to share with us? Uh, well, there's some secret ingredients, but I have to admit it's paleo. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Now, who made the caramel apple with pecan? It was just dropped here. A pie dropped in shame because. Uh, as I make clear, the Blue Ribbon panel does not like your fruit pies, generally speaking. That being said, a bold <laughs> move by one Cynthia wow. Freeland. 
she bucked my advice. She said, I said, I don't like hot apples. I don't like goat cheese. She said, I don't care what you like. I'm making what I like. And here we are. Let's taste it, Dan. Got to get some of the flaky crust that has vodka in it. Hello. The flaky crust has vodka in it, and there's chili-infused honey. I like booze. <laughs> How about you, Dan? I certainly like vodka. Love vodka. Delicious. Unique. And that's important in this competition, Dave. You know that. Well, you know what? I frown on people going up against, going against my advice, but somehow you've done the impossible, Cindy Freeland. You've made a tasty pie that has hot apples and goat cheese. Mm. Well done, sister. Thank you. Well done. Thank nice you. and spicy, too. You made a banana cream pie, Kemp Brown. I made it here with a banana cream pie. Would you like to uh, weigh in here because uh, you played a, a major role in, uh, in, in ginning up a controversy that Tara Deeker's tires were cut by one Eddie Spaghetti is the allegation. I don't know if it's true. I will say, though, he does live in the area, and this is his first pie off. I think he might want to win. Any regrets, though, about starting this fire? I don't think so. Good for you. Good for you. Mm. All right, Dan. Are you a banana cream pie kind of guy? Is it? Did you bring the banana cream last year as well, Ken? Yes. Interesting strategy. Especially given my aversion to the fruit pie. Correct me if I'm wrong, this looks like a, uh, an apple pan specialty. It does. It looks a lot like it. That's delicious. Apple pan, when you're in L.A., they make a delicious banana cream pie. I don't think it's going to win because Unlikely of the Unlikely you're going to win. It's a store-bought. But... Yeah, store-bought, but delicious. Ken, you've done well, and you've stirred the pot, which I also appreciate. Let's go on now to the salted caramel chocolate made by our boss man, Mark Brady's wife, he had her make this in spite of the fact that she was too busy to make a pie because uh, she was busy with their children and her own career. And yet Mark Brady said, well, I can't go there empty handed. Please, a pie. Wow, you got to respect that. You got to respect that. <laughs> I, I think I think you do. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> let's taste it. Let's, let's see if it was uh, worth the marital strife. <laughs> Tastes, tastes like a legal separation, Dave. <laughs> I'm going the other way. I hail whoever decided within our lives, you know, man's walked the big blue marble for, for thousands and thousands of years, but only in the last 10, 15 years did some genius say, you know what would add to this sweet thing? A little bit of salt, and we've never looked back. We're, mm. we're blessed to be living in the time in which we lived in. Yes, and also salt curated meats before the refrigerator. You gotta respect that, Dave. I do, I do. There's a lot of things I have to respect according to you. Uh, you know, I, I'm running out of things to say, Dave. We're eating pie over and over again. You make a good point, touche. All right, that brings us to For Eddie Spaghetti right now, embroiled in controversy, accused of uh, felony by competitor Tara Deeker. Nearby. Well, I think cutting someone's tires isn't that's isn't. A felony. I, that's I'm pretty sure that's a felony. That's felony Eddie spaghetti. Stalking. Let's put that ugliness aside for a moment and tell us about your pie today. So I made a, a sweet potato pie, topped it with uh, marshmallows. It was a a, fr a friend recipe and a, a good Italian boy from uh, New York. So I'll leave it at that. Let me try it here. Here we go. Two of my favorite New Yorkers. No, you don't have to cut me one. That's but I do appreciate you going the extra mile there. I just try to, you know, how about the judges here? I cut a piece already. They don't That's want it. That's fine. Butter bing, am I right, baby? Geech couldn't do it better. We'll get about it. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. Future reference, I forget to bring this up all the time. I don't really like marshmallows. That's a fun uh, fun thing about me, too. No, it's also funny. I made two pies, one without marshmallows. Oh. So. Well, let's make a note for next year. Tough going. You know what? Keep your chin up, Spaghetti. You got And save your money, because I, I fear you have a uh, protracted legal battle awaiting you <laughs> on the other side of pie-off. And now, here we go. The star of the DDFP, according to Cindy Freeland, Cindy Freeland's mother, my parents, and pretty much everyone else who experiences the DDFP on a weekly basis. It's Emma VP. What do you have for us today, Emma? 
Today I have a pumpkin pie. It is a family recipe passed down. And I have a homemade whipped cream right on top for you. Homemade whipped cream. Can I, yep. can I just say, Dave, adding a whipped cream is something that everyone needs to consider. It's how we won our second title. It took us over the top, and I like the cut of your jib as well. Thanks, Dan. Here we go. Emma VP's offering. Cream, on cream there, there, Dave. You're right. You're right. A little cream on there. Again, the theme we keep coming back to this year is people, there's more salt in there, right, Emma VP? Yeah, there's a little bit of salt in there. A lot of sugar, too. Some cinnamon, nutmeg. Sure. Yep. But it makes all the difference, the salt. It gives it a different uh, level of complexity. It's a time machine situation. Once again, I'm 13 years old, Thanksgiving feast at my parents' house. You transported me with your pie. Thank you, Emma. Wow. I, you know what? Yeah, if you want to go tra traditional, much like Mama... Um, Mama Bates suggested. You don't have to get fancy with it. You can, you, you know what? Win the line of scrimmage as though it were a football game. Stay fundamental. Pumpkin pie. It's Thanksgiving Absolutely. time. This is a smart move. That's a, don't overthink it sometimes. That's a classic right there. That's what I was going for. Also, Dave, we got 15 more minutes. All right, Emma BP. <laughs> so Damashek at least will be interested in you trying to move us along again. Yep. Most very concerned that you don't enjoy the DDFP because you're trying to move me along so often. Mo should not be concerned. I love the DDFP. We just have a lot of stuff to get to, you know? All right. Happy Sorry. Thanksgiving, right. uh, Thanksgiving, Emma VP. Wonderful, Emma. He's my pal on Monday nights after Total Access. We Look sit around that. a table. We yeah. crack some wise. Yeah. We do this and that. But he's deadly serious about uh, Very high serious. off six years. Serious Cole about the Tara Deaker just getting off of me, too, because, I mean, she's taking that competitiveness to a, to a whole other level. And uh, it's, it's, it's borderline. Wow. Uh, it's, borderline collusion like, like you said you're colluding against people trying to get that first championship trophy I'm Tara Deeker a, a friendly hello Tara Deeker it's you know but you should appreciate her presence here because you know Thank as you. I always say Star Thank Wars you. would be boring if Darth Vader weren't in it you but know like like and that's what she before. is to us act like you've been here before and also I, mean, I, I don't, been here I don't, before I don't get that I, I don't get I don't get that I don't get she's that. like our she's our TO you know the championship kind of way. I take that as a compliment Thank you also we know television Crazy equals ratings. It's great. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we're all winners for Deeker being here. Except, fire. ironically, maybe for Deeker herself. But we'll see. We haven't oh, rendered a verdict yet. Here we go. In on the Cole Wright offering. His sophomore effort, he yeah. participated for his first time in Pie Off 5 and did quite well. Ooh, that cross. This year he's taking it to another level. Chocolate. Is there something in the chocolate with it? Uh, that would be cream cheese. Cream oh, that's what I'm yeah. tasting. There we go. Oh, so that's not that's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's not for you. <laughs> Deeker is lawless. <laughs> that's very Whoa, smooth. how about that? Smooth. Is, that smooth. is delicious. Cole that? Wright, where do you come down as a competitor and a uh, and oh, a no, viable no. candidate to emerge victorious oh. with the pie off six trophy? Where do you come down on Tara Deeker making two pies and attributing one to handsome Hank Hodgson uh, under the uh, under, I, I, you know, what are we even calling it? This dummy yeah, uh, corp. It's a shell corporation. Yeah, yeah it's, shell it's corp. Much yeah, yeah, a shell Handsome corporation corp. of two best friends. You know, I'm, I'm, not, a big, I'm not a big fan of it. If he's out of town, then that's just the hit he's going to have to take when the, when the pie-off comes around. Like, next time, next year, if he's not in town, then uh, then you don't, you, no submissions. You don't get someone else to, in, in lieu of your absence, get to sit there and make a pie. Look at it. And I think we're it's down to our me, final though, pie because we way. have tried. No, now, Cole, I do want you to try... Uh, I, I do. You want you to I'm give try reluctantly. Deeker's the taste <laughs> under protest. All right. Under protest, you're gonna try. I'm just, I'm just gonna try with the plate. I don't need a whole bunch. Well, it's sort of like the Patriots, though. You know, I keep making the football analogies. It's like the Patriots. You're like, I want you to lose. I don't. I, I don't like you. I don't like your way. And then, it's damn right. it, you're good. Damn it, you're good. No, we have Savannah's. So I'm going over to San uh, Savannah's. It's a little chewy. We already tasted yours. How much air time do you need, Deeker? So, you just right put the microphone in my face, so I was just—I thought you had a question. You know, a whole slice of Deeker's pie. I just want to say, too much. I just want to say thank you for all the hardworking crew here <laughs> and uh, producers who really put this together. And um, wow, what a day! So even the Black Widow has a uh, giving heart sometimes. <laughs> it's very nice to see. All right, and now the anchor. Of pie off six, the final pie for our tasting. Here we go. 
It's sideline reporter Savvy. How are you, Savvy? I'm doing well. I'm going to be better after you taste this delicious pie. The big question is, will I be better after I taste it? You, it there's no question. You will be better after this. I'll be the judge and I would of just that. Like to take a note of the presentation. Presentation is everything. From you did put it up on a thing. Like you have, you put it in a plate, it's but elevated. then it's on an level. on an elevated pie. Yes, yes making a, a an attempt at symbolism here. Yes, absolutely. And I do. I put something into the fact that the pie is almost gone. Why the time we get here, that's a good sign. Thank you for noticing, yes. I thought, I'll be honest with you, no jive savvy. When I looked at this, I thought, pedestrian. How good could it be? It looks like some whipped cream and some chocolate mush. But how creamy is it, though? I don't know, what what is it? Why is it so uh, flavorful? It's silk. It's a chocolate silk pie. It's very nice. It's very nice. You should be very proud of yourself. Let's get it over to Dan Hanzus, who's standing by right now with uh, a participant, a strong competitor in years past. He did not even show up with a pie. For more on that, Dan Hanzus standing by with Necktie Milner. Thanks, Dave. Dan Hanzus here, of course, with Dylan Milner. Dylan, a fixture in past pie offs. Absence, a curious absence. Where have you been? Why are you not involved this season? Well, this year, just, uh, you know, with two second-place finishes and a third-place finish under my belt, uh, just felt like there was some collusion going on uh, in the pie-off with the, uh, with the uh, pie papers released uh, in recipe leaks and uh, uh, some other collusion going on. I have an independent investigator uh, looking into some of these allegations, but just felt like this was the year to take a step back, re-evalu- reevaluate where we are, and uh, maybe make a return next year in the future. All right, so a possible return, but at the same time, how about reports out there? Years of disappointment, yeah. uh, your pride hurt so badly that that drove you out of the competition. Your thoughts on that? Well, those are uh, unfound rumors and fake news. You know, the Pie News Network has been putting a lot of fake rumors out there, but again, there's been some collusion, and uh, I've got an investigator on the case seeing what's been going on because a controversial pie off three uh led to my uh, second place finish and uh, a second and third under my belt just you know we're looking into things dan well there you go dave quite a bombshell here from dylan milner back to you thanks dan and uh yeah i mean i what do i what did i just hear necktie milner saying i i heard a lot of excuses and a lot of noise and i don't buy any of those controversies now though to put that ugliness behind us it's time to announce the winner of pie off six dan I think, uh, first of all, I tip my hat to you. You've made a smooth transition from the field of play into the broadcast booth, and we're better for it. It's been an honor to work with you, Dave. And again, I'll I'll, I'll restate it. The pressure on you right now to make a a solitary choice as the champion, unreal. Well, I, I, uh, I feel, though, that that's offset by the fact that I was able many years ago to dupe so many of my coworkers into bringing pie in to me to eat. So... In, in these divisive times, to get everyone together to, to bond over calories, that's amazing. We can all agree on pie. I think that's a, a powerful statement we're making. All right, a couple of uh, uh, participation ribbons to give out. A lot of participation. Everyone who participated should get one. A shout-out for the best crunchy pie of the year goes to Lindsay. I think that uh, I, I thought that the, uh, the little crunch at the end surprised me, and I think it's uh, worthy of a reward. Next up, for the smoothest of all the uh, pies this year, a shout-out to sideline reporter Savvy for her good work. And you know what? Let's call that one a tie because Cole Wrights was, uh, was, was nice and creamy as well. He gets a participation ribbon. Now, Ryan Bartlett gets none because he ate some of his pie before I did. Next up... It's Cole's time. hurt, by the way. <laughs> Cole, you, you, you disagree. I, I do. Next up, we, uh, we'll give out, let's get, to, uh, let's get to the win play show, shall we? I, I make it pretty clear, year after year, people come to me, Dave, you're the blue ribbon panel of one. What do you like? And that feeds my vanity, and I appreciate that. Once in a while, people buck that. I don't understand the wisdom of doing that most of the time. But I'll tell you what, this year, somebody opened up my eyes and, more importantly, my taste buds to what was possible. And some goat cheese, some spice, other things that were nice. Third place ribbon for adventure to Cindy Freeland. First time participant. Gives me something to look forward to next year. Don't get your hopes up. All right. (laughs) Next up. I'd like, uh, I'd like for the two finalists, if they would join us here at the dais. 
Mark is took. Hard luck loser more than once. Hard luck loser and a previous champion, Tara Deeker, to join us wow. as well here. Dave, if I can just say, I remember being in this exact position one year ago. One of the more stressful moments of my life. Amazing how time goes by. Look where we are now, right back where we started. Tara Deeker with a shot at it. Mark Iztook with a shot at it a year ago. Now one of them will claim this gorgeous Piesman Trophy for Pie Off 6. I love both pies. It was a tough decision. Not on the pie. <laughs> but my vote is one for resiliency. Mark is took. You have done it. He finally made it to the top of the pie mountain. Cole Wright doesn't have to like it. He disagrees with the vote, but be inspired. Oh, next time over. This doesn't have anything to do with you. Mark wow. Istook, do you have anything you'd like to say? Yes, yeah. actually, I, I, I want I want to thank the Blue Ribbon panel of one. Uh, it, it has been a long time coming. A lot of missteps over the years. That apple pie a couple of years ago, that was obviously a learning experience. The very first year when I just brought a cream cheese pie, not even really understanding the gravity of the pie off. It was a, a Twitter user who I will thank later on Twitter that pointed out in an interview with Adam Carolla, you sang the virtues of the coconut cream pie, and that's where I found my inspiration. So that random Twitter user will get a shout out as well, uh, but not a name on the trophy wow. because she didn't. She wasn't baking in my kitchen last night. Enjoy I, the celebration. You deserve it, and all the trappings that come with being a pie off champion. Right now, though, let's get it over to the losers' locker room. Standing by with Tara Deeker is Dan Hansus. I'm here with Tara. Tara, I know the emotions, back to back years being in the final two, and to have it all ripped away. Just take us through where you're at right now. Well, you know, earlier today, um, it was said on Twitter that nobody believed in me outside of my locker room. And um, you know what? Today, my friends Deeper! believed in me. Okay. I, I brought a great pie to quote. Emma MVP said, holy hell. I asked Eddie Spaghetti after tasting my pie if he wanted to marry me. And he said, yes, resoundingly so. Um, a lot of people thought my pie should have been the winner, but listen, I can't hate on Cole or on uh, Istook. He brought a great pie. Um, he, he, we had a great friendly banter of competition, and I just again, um, I'm disappointed. It hurts because um, Damashek really liked my pie. He thought it was delicious, and I just can't. Uh, I don't know. This one's gonna. I, I'm gonna have to think about this for a long time. This one's gonna hurt because he said. Yeah, this is the one that's going to... Oh, sorry. It's all right. He said right. that this pie was the one that should have won two years ago. So I know it's a winning pie. So, again, thank you for everybody who supported and uh, for everyone's hard work. Thank you. Tara, an unbelievable competitor, Dave. Emotions are raw right now, but that's what happens in a pie-off competition. We play it for keeps. I hope that you get to eat pie with some of your favorite people, as I just got to for the sixth annual time here. Okay. On the pie off, congratulations to everyone who participated. You're all winners. Why? Because you got to eat everybody else's pie there. That's a good excuse to do this for a seventh go round, where perhaps we'll get back the likes of uh, Mama Bates and the rest now. For Emma VP, for Ryan Bartlett, for Eddie Spaghetti, and everybody who put so much work into this, including Tara Deeker and her gang with her. For Dan Hansus up in the booth, Dave Damashek. We'll talk to you next time. In the meantime, happy Thanksgiving, and it's been a thin slice of heaven. From all of us at the Dave Damashek Football Program, we thank you for tuning into High Off Six and wish you and yours a lovely Thanksgiving holiday. <laughs>